Christmas drinks with the King at Sandringham, the highlights from the Winter Festival where we had over 100 Scotty members attend, and Scotty's focuses for 2024 are all coming up on this month's Sit Rep. Hello and Happy New Year to you all. I've got a really good feeling about 2024. I think it's going to be a really positive year for Scotties where we can really move the charity forward and help even more bereaved British Forces children and young people. Obviously, we know that's not going to happen without lots of hard work and a dedicated team. And of course, as many people supporting the charity as possible to really make that difference. But I know we can do it. I've got a really good feeling. Last month, we actually reviewed our 10 year and our five year plans again, just to check that we're making good progress and we're really moving forward. We looked at what will still need to happen in order for us to reach our long-term plans, which helped us then to set our priorities for this year. You can't do everything at once and it can be so easy to get distracted by exciting opportunities or to start doing too many things and then spreading yourself too thinly. So I think having clear one-year goals that relate to the long-term plan can help keep the team focused and moving in the right direction. By 2030, we want to be able to be supporting a thousand plus bereaved British Forces children and young people annually. You know, that's our big long-term goal here at Scotty's. And if we want to achieve this, we need to make sure that we have the funds to support it. So this year, one of the three focuses is to seek a new unrestricted cash income stream. We're looking at doing this through raising our engagement with businesses, and we will be developing a Business Heroes Club, which I'll share more on next month. We also need to make sure that we truly understand what the needs of a bereaved forces child looks like so that we can make sure that the services that we're offering are the right ones. We have so much experience and knowledge within our team that we always use good judgment to base our services on, but actually to be able to carry out a big research project means that we would have hard evidence and data to back up our experience and knowledge. And then we can really make sure that we are 100% providing the very best support and services that bereaved British Forces children and young people need. I am personally so excited by this project because I know that it will be an incredible piece of research that will be able to help the charity develop. And you know, there is such little research out there on bereaved children and even less so on bereaved military children at the minute. So this piece of research will take a long time, but will be worth it. And during this year, we're gonna to start to scope out the project and what funding we'll need um, in order to carry it out. The last key focus for the charity for this year is to help every team member to feel fulfilled within their roles here at Scotty's by understanding what success looks like for them and how they all individually impact on the overall success of the charity. Lots of people have been asking me um, what it was like to have Christmas drinks with the King last month and I think the, the word to use is surreal. Scotty's were invited um, along so I went with my CEO Stuart and two of our longest serving team members Sarah and Bailey and I think you know we drove up the gates and after we passed security we parked right outside the house which I thought was pretty cool and it was a private event so there were no cameras and weirdly I think the fact that there was no big announcement that the king had even entered the room or anything like that he just came in and started chatting to different people it was all very relaxed just really nice lots of drinks and nibbles and a really nice room in the house House that had a big fireplace and a massive Christmas cheer, uh, tree and slowly the king just worked his way around the room talking to his guests it was just really brilliant so relaxed and he was so interested to hear about the charity I spoke to him about um, some of the challenges that bereaved military children and young people can sometimes face and how Scotties are helping to put services in place to prevent some of those challenges or at least help to teach the young people you know, different tools and mechanisms to help them when they find themselves in those challenging situations where their pain button is pushed. And he was just really engaged and it was a great experience and a great opportunity to update him on all the work of Scotty's and just remind him that we need to do more to support bereaved military children and young people. It's a, it is really great to be invited, to have been invited and I'm yeah really honoured to have gone and had a chat with him. I thought I'd leave you with this short video from our Winter Festival that we held in London last month. We had over 100 Scotty members attend the event and the festival really focuses on helping to raise lots of smiles and offering a memorable experience for all our members, no matter what their age or their capability. You know, all the activities at the festival were designed to help to encourage friendships to form. It's so, so important to give bereaved children and young people the opportunity to come together in a safe and supportive environment, to meet others with similar experiences 
opportunities so they realise, you know, they're not the only ones feeling how they do, they're not alone and they've not been forgotten. But also so they can develop those friendships and provide each other with that peer support as they grow. Take a look and I will see you next month when I will provide you with a sneaky peek behind the scenes of our team day and I'll also be telling you what Scott has been up to during the first month of the year plus I'll be letting you all know a bit more about our new Business Heroes Club. Thank you.